So in the data tab, between data types and app data, you will see a privacy tab. Uh, this privacy tab will allow you to define privacy rules uh, depending on the data types. By default, um, data types are visible by everyone. So you really need to make sure that before publishing your app, you need to really review uh, all these data types and make sure that uh, data is only visible by, by people who are allowed to see it. Um, there is no like uh, recipe for everyone. Uh, privacy rules really depends on, on what type of app you're building. If you are building something like Airbnb, uh, most of the information is public. Uh, for example, the picture of houses or the name of the house and the description, the reviews, uh, this is public data. Anyone can just go on Airbnb and see this information. But uh, some information are also private. For example, how much uh, the homeowner made uh, in one month, how much money he made, or like the exact address of the house, like things like that will only be accessible to some users. So let's see how we can um, define these privacy rules. So to define a privacy rule, you need to choose your data type. So here, the data, data type, sorry, is type user because we want to uh, define um, the information we want to set to private is type user. Uh, so you click on define a, a new rule and you choose uh, a name and you will see uh, two parts. So the first part um, will allow you to define custom rules for um, uh, a small group of people. Like uh, here we will define what uh, authorized people will be able to see and here it will be for everybody else. So in the first uh, part, we are going to define what the user to which, like here, um, we want to, to define uh, what Lucy is going to see uh, on her own profile. So here, when, it will be uh, what condition should the user uh, match to make sure uh, he or she has the right to see it. So here is, it is, this user is current user. So when the user, um, the user which is uh, connected to the app is the current user, so uh, he or she will have a right. So we, we are allowing uh, the user to see everything. But for everybody else, we don't want them to view uh, no, we want them to see some things. For example, uh, it's okay if they see the first name, it's okay if they see the last name, it's okay if they see the picture, but we don't want to them to see, for example, the email. And uh, we don't want... Do we want them to find this in searches? Um, yeah, why not? Like, um, it's okay. We just don't want them um, to see the email. So when you're done, you just, you can just click on define, a, uh, oh, sorry. No, when you're done, you're done. And let's see if it worked. So in order to make sure that your privacy rules uh, are working, I suggest you to go in app data and here you can choose run as or run as. So it's really useful because you can check, we are going to check this uh, page as uh, the user Lucy, or we are going to see it as another user and um, it will allow us to see if it worked. So let's run it as Lucy first. Uh, so here I'm on uh, Lucy's uh, account and I'm connected as Lucy. And I can see all the data here and I also can see the email, so it's good. And now let's say that someone took uh, the URL of the profile 
and I'm going to open an incognito window um, to make sure I'm like if I was connected as another user. And as, as you can see, it worked. Um, this other user cannot see the email. Um, so uh, that was a very simple privacy rule, but you can really define privacy rules for anything. And it is super important that you define privacy rules for all your sensitive data and that you do it um, before publishing your app. Um, maybe uh, you have thought about hiding uh, data in your app uh, because with Bubble, you can very easily hide um, some elements and data uh, in your browser. For example, you can say, uh, if a user is not log logged in, hide uh, this thing. But actually, uh, it doesn't, it will not, um, it will, it will, the, the user will still be uh, able to access the data uh, in the database. He won't be able to see it in the browser. But for someone which is uh, a little bit um, uh, a hacker, for example, or someone who knows how to uh, go in your database, uh, you will be able to access the sensitive data. So you really shouldn't um, forget to define privacy rules because this is the only way to secure uh, sensitive uh, data.